Hi everyone, Quadra here for you. Today I want to have a look at the recent addition to Forza Horizon 5, the Bentley Turbo R, which was a seasonal reward in summer of Series 12. Thing is, I keep picking up all these cars that have been released, but for the most part they are just sitting in my garage doing nothing, collecting dust and rust. So, for this one I decided to give it a proper test and find out whether it's any good or not. Let's start with the basics first. The car falls into Retro Saloon's category and in stock configuration belongs to C-Class. It's a rear-wheel drive with a huge 6.7 litre V8 engine and a mammoth weight of almost 2.5 tons. A variety of upgrade options allow you to take serious chunks off that weight, as well as increase power, but is it enough to make this car any good? Uh, let's see. Now, I'm not a good tuner, not at all, so I had to go and look into collective wisdom of many Forza tuners for an answer. The car can be upgraded all the way up to S2 class, but majority of good tunes sit in B class and seem to lean towards road racing. There are some extreme cases, of course, during the research I've watched a video claiming to have the best tune for this car, where author proceeds to slap every upgrade onto it, quickly adjust the gear ratios to reach maximum top speed, and then he didn't manage to keep the car on the road while driving the highway, but that's not the kind of tune I was looking for. So I downloaded a few tunes by some respectable tuners and took my tur Turbo R to the track for some laps in Rivals. Results were quite disappointing while not completely unexpected. I first did some laps around Emerald Circuit, but my best result was around 5 seconds off my personal best time on this track. I found that all-wheel drive conversions suffer from far too much understeer, made even more pronounced by over 5 meters of Bentley's length. The best results were in the rear-wheel drive builds, but those were still very far from being competitive. I then moved on to play Azul Circuit, which favors more powerful, faster cars and is considerably longer than Emerald, but the same result. I couldn't get closer than 5 seconds to my own best time in B-Class. Not that I expected the car to be the new meta, but the gap is just too big for it to be good. I realize I'm not the top driver to unlock the full potential of the car, but I do make comparisons to my own times and my own level, so I think it's a reasonable approach. And just to make sure I have a fair comparison, I jumped into another retro saloon car, 91 BMW M3, and beat my Bentley time on Emerald by more than a second on the first flying lap, and by more than two seconds on Play Azure. So, even within its own category, this car is not fast at all. Just out of curiosity, I took it for a spin in Horizon Open, doing a few races in road and street racing, with same result. I didn't finish last every single time, but the gap to leaders was always so big that I really needed someone to be 2-3 skill levels lower than I am to have any chance to win. Funny enough, one of the popular tuners has a build for Turbo R called Street King. Well, maybe a novice difficulty against AI that has to drive in reverse? I don't know, that seems to be the only Street King scenario here. All in all, I feel this car has neither the speed nor handling to be of any value for rivals or online racing. I can't tell anything about drift, as I'm far from being a specialist, but I can't imagine it being better than purpose-built drifters, though. Virtually anything can be drifted in Forza, so actually, might be fun, I don't know, there's plenty of drift tunes for it. Outside of some very specific seasonal restrictions, though, in future series, Bentley Turbo R has only a collector's value for those of us who like to own all of the cars, or simply maybe likes the look and feel of this specific model, but not much else. My verdict? I'm unlikely to ever drive it unless I have to. I just don't like the car. I don't think it's good. Hope this was uh, interesting and entertaining. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.